Hi everyone. Today, I will introduce to you the laws of flotation. Archimedes principle states that when a body is wholly or partially immersed in a fluid it appears to suffer a loss in mass equal to the mass of the fluid it displaces. The mass density of fresh water is 1000 kg per cubic meter therefore, when a body is immersed in fresh water it will appear to suffer a loss in mass of 1000 kg for every 1 cubic meter of water it displaces. When a box measuring 1 cubic meter and of 4000 kg mass is immersed in fresh water it will appear to suffer a loss in mass of 1000 kg. If suspended from a spring balance the balance would indicate a mass of 3000 kg. Since the actual mass of the box is not changed, there must be a force acting vertically upwards to create the apparent loss of mass of 1000 kg. This force is called the force of buoyancy and is considered to act vertically upwards through a point called the center of buoyancy. The center of buoyancy is the center of gravity of the underwater volume. Now consider the box shown in figure 4.28 which also has a mass of 4000 kilograms, but has a volume of a cubic meters. If totally immersed in fresh water it will display 8 cubic meters of water. And since 8 cubic meters of fresh water has a mass of 8000 kilograms, there will be an upthrust or force of buoyancy causing an apparent loss of mass of 8000 kilograms. The resultant apparent loss of mass is 4000 kilograms. When released the box will rise until the state of equilibrium is reached, i.e. when the buoyancy is equal to the mass of the box. To make the buoyancy produce a loss of mass of 4000 kg the box must be displacing 4 cubic meters of water. This will occur when the box is floating with half its volume immersed, and the resultant force then acting on the box will be zero. This is shown in figure for dot to see. Now consider the box to be floating in fresh water with half its volume immersed as shown in figure for dot to see. If a mass of 1000 kg be loaded on deck as shown in figure for dot 3a the new mass of the body will be 5000 kg. And since this exceeds the buoyancy by 1000 kg, it will move downwards. The downwards motion will continue until buoyancy is equal to the mass of the body. This will occur when the box is displacing 5 cubic meters of water and the buoyancy is 5000 kg, as shown in figure for dot 3b. The conclusion which may be reached from the above is that for a body to float at rest in still water, it must be displacing its own weight of water and the center of gravity must be vertically above or below the center of buoyancy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.